Ganito tayo dati, sa lupang tinitirahan, tayo ay walang karapatan. Palaging may kaba, puno ng pag-aalala. Kaunting ulat bagyoy, tayo ay di na mapakali. Dahil gumarag ka sang bahay, tatangayin ka anumang sandali. Namuhay sa pamayanang ito, simulat sa pulpaman. Ngunit ito'y tahanang minsan na din nating inayawan. Ganito tayo dati, tuwing mapapaalis, munting kabuhay ay kailangang iwan. Pag-aaral ng mga anak, matitigil pa ng dalian. Sa malayo, tayo'y muling makikipagsapalaran. Paulit-ulit na simula ng bagong walang kasiguraduhan. Ganito ang buhay dati. Matugunan ang pangangailangan sa atin ay sapat na. Madalas walang pagpaplano ni wastong paggasta. Minsan ding umuwi ang bunso na mugto ang mga mata. Dahil sa eskwela, tuksoy squatter daw siya. Kaya tayo ay nangarap para sa ating pamilya. Maayos na bahay, sariling lupa na ating maipamamana. Nanay Leti, kayo na po! <gasps> Ngayon, ito na ang ating buhay. Kaagapay ang samahan. Aming pinag-iipunan, sarili na naming tahanan. Ang budget sa isang buwan, amortization agad naming nilalaanan. Pagbabago ng buhay, nuoy panaginip lamang. Natuto na ang huli ay hindi kailangang puro pagsisisi. Mag-ipun ka! Monthly amortization iyong pagsikapan upang makamit mo ang pangarap na matagal mo nang inaasa. The municipality of Rojas is located in the central part of Malik Plains in the province of Isabela. It was first called Bindang Redvira and then Barrio of Gamu Isabela. On July 1, 1948, through Executive Order 136 issued by President Elpidio Quirino, the barrio was converted into an independent municipality and was named Rojas in honor of President Quirino's predecessor, Manuel A. Rojas. The town was inaugurated on July 4 of the same year. Rojas was originally occupied by the Kalingas until they were overruled by the Ilocanos and their kin who migrated from the Ilocos region and from provinces of the central Luzon. As part of the celebration of the 71st anniversary of Aro ng Rojas, the whole Rojas community gave utmost gratitude to our municipality's early settlers, the Kalingas, who are living in Rojas mula sa simula at sa pagdaan ng panahon. Long before that, during our 54th founding anniversary in 2002, we showcased different historical artifacts that took us back to early Rojas life. Because of its rich, large-scale production of Bahay Kubo vegetable strains, particularly the eggplants, it is dubbed as the eggplant basket of the north and the Pinakbet bowl of the north. Because of its rich and fertile agricultural land, that comprises 65% of its total land area, of 18,480 hectares. Rojas belongs to the 5th Congressional District of Isabela with 26 barangays and is classified as a first-class municipality with a population of 61,773. Today, it is the seat to almost 1,200 commercial establishments, 14 of which are in banking and finance, making it the trading center of the entire Malig region.
Rojas will not be the Rojas today if not for the joint efforts of our local leaders. Ang sambayanan ng Rojas na binubuo na nagkakaisang halo-halong kultura ay buong pusong kumikilala at nagpupugay sa inyong mga naibahagi sa pagbuo ng kung ano ang bayan ng Rojas ngayon bilang leader sa inyong panahon ng pamumuno. Iisang pagkilos tungo sa matatag, maginhawa at panatag na buhay. As the town progresses, through the able leadership of past and present local officials in partnership with the community, the local government develop programmable plans that cater to the needs of every Rojasenyo, integrating every resident in the delivery and implementation of programs and services. With the community, we try to provide the best in social services, health, community development, environmental governance and management, which includes tree planting activities, plastic palitbigas program, Rojas Green Brigade, among others. We also continue to try our best to deliver the best services mula sa Rojas para sa Rojas. Disaster preparedness, peace and order services, administrative and economic governance, infrastructure development, youth development, education, and technology. The most important part of the history of Rojas is its community. The people, the men, the women, the elderly, the children. We gather together in times of success and defeat. We stand by each other in times of disaster. We show the spirit of Bayanihan in times of building and creating a new world for us. We show respect to our fellow Rojasenos, to our fellow Filipinos, to our fellow men. Though we vary in spiritual beliefs, we have a common understanding of morality. In everything we do, in business and trade, in education, in religion, in politics, in technology, we continue to adhere to our municipality's taglines. Tamang oportunidad, teknolohiya, at edukasyong pangkaunlaran, and Rojas, mahal ko, mahal mo. Masayang pagbati sa ating mga kaagapay. Masayang pagbati sa ating mga kashafsi. Ako po si Renilin Paglinawa ng Partner Relations Division of Social Housing Finance Corporation. Sa araw na ito, atin na naman pong masasaksiyan ang pag-iisa ng nasyonal at lokal na gobyerno upang maging tulay sa pagbibigay ng pag-asa sa ating mga kaagapay, lalo na sa mga komunidad natin sa tinaguri ang The Queen Province of the North o ang probinsya ng Isabela. Ang oportunidad na ito ay naglalayong makatulong upang mapabago at mapabuti ang buhay ng mga walang tahanan at hindi nabigyan ng pribilehyo ng mga, komunid, ng mga komunidad sa lokal na gobyerno ng Rojas, Isabela. Itong pagkakataon na ito ay patunay lamang na walang kahit anong pandemya, layo, pagsubok o bagyuman ang makakapigil sa atin upang makamit natin ang ating misyon at iyan ay ang pagbibigay ng magandang buhay sa pamamagitan ng pabahay sa ating mga komunidad. This Memorandum of Understanding Signing Between Social Housing Finance Corporation and the Local Government Unit of Rojas, Isabela, is just the beginning of a great opportunity that will soon change the lives of the homeless and underprivileged communities within this LGU's jurisdiction. Ngunit bago po ang lahat, bago tayo Magsimula, akin pong inaanyayaan si Pastor Victor Dungo upang pangunahan ng pambungad na dasal at pagkaraan ay manatili po tayong nakatayo habang inaawit naman ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Let us feel the presence of the Lord and uh, allow me to read Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3 in Tagalog version. Ipagkatiwala ka mo kay Yahweh ang iyong mga gagawin at magtatagumpay ka sa lahat ng iyong mga layunin. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, Divine God, truly you are the source of everything. 
Napakaganda po ng inyong plano para sa mga taong iyong nilikha mula pa noon hanggang sa aming panahon. Ikaw o Diyos ang gumagawa ng mga paraan upang lalo pang bumuti ang kalagayan ng bawat mamamayan sa bawat lugar na kung saan ay aming kinaroroonan. Father God, we continue to magnify you. We continue to acknowledge your power in our lives na kung saan ikaw ang Diyos na naglalagay ng magagandang oportunidad sa bawat bayan na kung saan ay iyong itinayo. Kaya naman, as we gather this day in your presence, Lord God, we are going to witness the forging of partnership between our local government unit here in Rojas under the leadership of our mayor, Honorable Jonathan Oseto F.C. Calderon, and the management of SHFC in order to give an opportunity and even this is our ambition to give our kababayan ng isang disente maayos at magandang pamumuhay sa pagkakaroon ng isang magandang bahay. Maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na ito and we commit this partnership and even this project upon your guidance. Ikaw nawa o Diyos ang magbigay ng katuparan at tagumpay sa mga planong ito mula sa teknikal na usapin, pananalapi at hanggang sa ganap na maitayo ang nasabing proyekto. Samahan niyo po kami sa araw na ito upang sa gayon ay mapagtibay ang pagtutulungan ng HFC, HSFC at gayon din ang aming lokal na pamahalaan sa bayan ng Rohat. Lead us Lord God and we commit our plans upon your guidance and upon your power. All of this we ask and pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Maraming salamat po. Maaari na po tayong maupo. Ako po ay nagagalak dahil nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataon upang masaksihan at maging parte ng oportunidad na ito upang makatulong na makamit ng ating mga kaagapay sa si LG Rojas ang minimiti nilang sariling tahanan. Itong pag-iisa na ito ay naglalayon din na maiangat at mapalakas ang estado ng buhay ng mga kaagapay natin na homeless and underprivileged. But before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the presence of my colleagues who are present today in this ceremony. Ms. Jenny Foriscal, the Manager of Partner Relations Division. Mr. Jones Thomas, the Vice President for North Luzon Operations. Representatives from the Office of the President and Strategic Communications. And of course, rep representing Social Housing Finance Corporation is our dear Senior Vice President for Legal, Partners and Enforcement Cluster, Attorney Leo de Yocampo. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of the officers and staff members of the Municipal Government of Rojas, Isabela. Pastor Victor Dungo, the o Municipal Administrator, Mr. Andres Vicente, Sangunian Bayan members headed by v Vice Mayor Nick M. Sebastian, and of course, magandang magandang umaga po sa ating butihing mayor, Honorable Jonathan Jose C. Calderon. We would, we would also like to acknowledge the officers and members of Green Valley Home Subdivision CMP Homeowners Association, 
headed by their president, Mr. Rojas Lipaupao. And of course, last but definitely not the least, sa lahat ng mga kasamahan namin na hindi nagsasawa sa pagsubaybay sa ating live streaming sa ating official Facebook page, SHFCPH. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at nagpapasalamat po kami sa walang sawa ninyong suporta sa amin. At hindi ko na po papatagalin, to introduce our first speaker, I'd like to call in Ms. Maki Velasco of the Party Relations Division to introduce our dear, our dear Shafsi Senior Vice President. Good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kimberly Velasco of Partner Relations Division. I am so excited to be part of this Momentum event, the online signing of Memorandum of Understanding between Social Housing Finance Corporation and Municipal Government of Rojas, Isabela. It is an honor and privilege to introduce to you one of the strong foundation of our agency, the Senior Vice President for Legal, Partners and Enforcement Cluster. He started his career with Shafsi in 2007 and has been with us for 13 years. His passion in pursuing his studies in law proves that he truly has the heart of understanding the law where it will benefit the people he serves. He also encouraged Shafsi advocacy in, of supporting the local government in maximizing its power, particularly in their very important role of facilitating socialized housing for the underprivileged. And this MOU signing is a proof of our commitment to building synergies with LGU. Without further ado, I present to you the Senior Vice President for Legal, Partner and Enforcement Cluster, Attorney Leo De Ocampo. Thank you, Kim. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Uh, magandang umaga, Mayor Jonathan Jose Calderon, ating butihing mayor ng uh, Rojas Isabela. Magandang umaga po, Vice Mayor Nick Sebastian uh, at sampu po ng mga kasamahan sa Konseho. Magandang umaga po, Municipal Administrator Andres Vicente. Good morning. Uh, Pastor Dungo, magandang umaga po. Uh, Mr. Rojas Lipaupao, representing Green Valley Homes of Division, CMP HOA. Good morning, sir. Sa mga kasamahan ko po sa Shopsy, nandyan po si Vice President Jones Thomas, North uh, Luzon Group. Si Ms. Jennifer Isca, lang aming manager ng PRD. Uh, mga kasamahan ko sa Office of the President at uh, Systems Coordination Department at lahat po ng mga nandito po sa ating at nakikinig po uh, via Facebook Live. Uh, magandang umaga po sa lahat. So this is a great and uh, happy opportunity for SHFC para po maging parte po ng malaking programa po ng ating local government unit sa Rojas Isabela. Alam naman po natin na itong taon na po ito ng 2020 ay medyo masyadong mabigat para po sa hindi lang sa probinsya ng Isabela, kundi po para po sa kalathan ng uh, buong bansa. Tayo po ay uh, for, during the first quarter ng taon ay uh, naranasan natin yung epekto ng COVID-19, bumaba po ang ating ekonomiya, bumagal po ang pagtakbo ng ating ekonomiya, marami po ang naapektuhan, lalong-lalo na po yung mga nasa laylayan, kahirapan. No? So, uh, pagkatapos po noon ay dumating po yung sunod-sunod na bagyo. At uh, alam po natin na ang Luzon po ay isa sa mga malaking naging epekto sa probinsya ng, na nasasakupan ng Luzon, especially I think sa Isabela ay na, na tamaan po tayo ng bagyong Ulysses, Rolly at iba pang bagyo. So siguro po uh, ang SHFC ay nandito bilang kaagapay po ng ating local government unit, especially po sa Roas Isabela para po uh, pagtibayin po natin yung ating partnership para mabigyan po ng uh, safe, resilient 
uh, nampabahay po ang ating mga informal settler families. Bigyan ko lang po ng konting background. Ano po ba ang pagkakaiba ng SHAPC o ng Community Mortgage Program, ang amin po banner program uh, ng aming kumpanya vis-a-vis uh, -vis yung ating uh, iba't ibang mga government agencies, housing agencies na napapaloob o napapasa ilalim sa bagong tayong departamento ng uh, Human Settlements and Urban Development. So kung malalaman nyo po yung pag-ibig, ito po ay uh, privately driven uh, agency. Ibig pong sabihin, sila po ay nagkikater po sa pangangailangan ng pabahay ng kanilang mga miyembro. So marami pong mga miyembro, tayo po lahat ay uh, mga miyembro ng pag-ibig. So kung tayo po ay nangangailangan ng individual na pautang, gusto po natin umutang para po tayo ay makabili ng bahay sa isang subdivision, ay pwede po tayo mag-apply sa pag-ibig. Ngayon, ang NHA naman po, ito po yung Government Driven Housing Program o project kung saan ang gobyerno po uh, through the National Housing Authority ay uh, nagpapatayo ng mga pabahay para po sa mga local government units or para po sa mga pamilya na maapektuhan ng sakuna o those that will be affected by government projects. So nagpapatayo sila. And then later on, pag pangangailangan po, pag may sakuna, ay doon po nila ililipat yung maapektuhan ng mga pamilya. Yung shop naman po, ito po yung community-driven approach kung saan mayroon pong isang registered homeowners association o di kaya registered po siya na uh, under sa CDA o Cooperative Development Authority kung saan sila po mismo ang pipili sa tulong po of course ng local government units kasi po ang ating pong mga local government units meron po kayong local shelter plans kung saan po na-identify na ninyo saan po ang mga lupa na mga bakante na pwedeng paglilipatan ng ating mga informal settler families. So pipiliin po nila yon among those identified already by the local government units to be feasible for uh, socialized housing. Okay, so pag nakapili na po sila sila din po, kung ito po ay resettlement, sila din po ang pipili. Sa tulong din po ng SHAPC at local government units, pipili po sila ng kanilang mga kontraktor. O kung sino po ang gusto nilang mag magtayo ng kanilang pabahay. And then SHFC comes in po para po magbigay ng pautang una para po doon sa lot acquisition. And then second, para po doon sa pagpapatayo ng kanilang pabahay. Uh, gaano po ba kababa ang interest rates ngayon ng SHFC? Okay, so ngayon po ang interest rates po natin for on-site projects, I think, uh, I don't know kung meron po tayong mga on-site projects dyan sa ROAS. Uh, para po doon sa mga ating informal settler families na nandoon na po sa kanilang mga lupa na kinatitirikan, ito po ay pagmamayari ng pribadong sektor o isang tao na pribado o ng gobyerno, Pwede po nating bilhin ng, ang, ng community yung palupa na yon Yun po ang tawag natin ay on-site uh, CMP. Uh, magbibigay po kami ng uh, pautang para ma-acquire po nila ang property at 6% interest rate per annum payable in 25 years. Ngayon pag may mga LGU resettlement po tayo, kung saan ililipat po ng local government units yung kanila pong mga naapektuhan po ng bagyo. For example, to a safer and more uh, resilient uh, resettlement sites, doon po sa medyo uh, mababa po yung kanila mga yung affordability, yung sweldo po, po nila, for example, is 10,000 and below, meron po tayong 2% interest rate. So yun po ang pinakamababa ngayon in the market. Uh, Mag-uumpisa po yun ang mababa siguro 2%, maybe 300% pesos to 500 pesos depende po sa package na na uh, i-avail po nila no kasi may ceiling po kasi yung ating socialized housing so ito po ang ceiling po ng socialized na, na housing natin based on national standard which was set by uh, previously by the department by the HDC no uh, housing urban development coordinating council na ngayon isang departamento ng housing na 
ang ceiling po ng ating socialized housing, ang maximum ceiling for horizontal, ibig sabihin yung mga mababa, hindi po siya pataas, hindi po siya condominium type, ay nasa 580,000 po. Pero kung vertical housing po, para mataas, uh, hanggang 3 to 4 floors, ito po ay 750,000 per unit. Pero yun po ang maximum. So ngayon po, uh, para po hindi yung sinasabi ko nga kanina, ito po ay uh, to capture po uh, talaga yung market natin na yung mga pinakamahirap sa mahirap na sinasabi nila. So binibigyan po natin sila ng 2%. Uh, pataas po ng pataas yung interest rate ng kada uh, kada level ng affordable na, na ma-afford ma po ng ating mga communities. No? For example, mayroon po silang sweldo na 60,000 naman. So dapat po mas mataas din yung kanilang interest rate which is only 6%. So may mga levels po tayo dyan na uh, applicable. Ang sinasabi lang natin ay uh, yung mga hindi talaga mahagip ng pag-ibig ay pwede pong i-cater ng, ng Social Housing Finance Corporation. So yun po ang aming uh, ang aming uh, sinasabi ngayon na we are very happy uh, to partner with the local government during this tight uh, trying times uh, sa atin ano na we're in there are lots of people affected by calamity so we will be glad to partner with the local government of uh, Rojas Isabela magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat Thank you Thank you, Attorney Deo Campo. Makakasiguro po kayo, LG Rojas, na ang Shafsi ay magiging katuwang ninyo upang makamit ang minimithing pabahay ng mga komunidad sa bayan ng Rojas. Ayan po, hindi ko na po papatagalin. Akin naman pong inaanyayan ang Municipal Administrator na si Mr. Andres Vicente upang ipakilala ang ama ng bayan ng Rojas. Good morning everyone, uh, lahat po nang nandito ngayon sa Mayor's Conference Room, officials of uh, Shopsi and also uh, Green Valley uh, Home Subdivision. Good morning po. Thank you for the privilege. In his second term as the distinguished local chief executive of this great town, the Honorable Mayor, a registered nurse and a doctor of veterinary medicine by profession, and who belongs to a well-respected family of illustrious political leaders, serve as a member of the Sangguniang Bayan of Rojas, and likewise as a member of the Provincial Board of the, or the Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Isabela, representing the agriculture, trade, and industry sector. Fully committed to address housing backlog in our town in cooperation with the Social Housing Finance Corporation, he strongly supports the provision of affordable and decent houses to informal settler families the homeless, and the underprivileged sector of our community. An ardent anti-COVID-19 advocate, he vows to keep his people healthy amidst the threats of the COVID-19 pandemic and lead them to rise fast from the difficulties of this crisis. With honor and pride, please welcome the well-loved and dynamic father of this beautiful municipality, a dedicated and performing public servant the Honorable Mayor Jonathan Osesi Calderon for his inspirational message in this momentous ceremony. Sir. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Morning, Mayor. Good morning, Attorney Leo de Ocampo. Ma'am Kimberly, Sir Jones, uh, sa lahat ng mga nakasama natin dito sa Bayad Zoom, I have here full force of the municipality of Rojas, mga officialis po natin, headed of course by Vice Mayor Nick Sebastian. And we have here yung ating pong mga konsihales dito ng ating pong bayan ng Rojas. And of course, andito ang ating uh, municipal administrator, andito po ang presidente ng homeowners natin ng Green Valley. This is very timely project that I would say because of uh, what's happening right now here in the province as well as uh, the province of Cagayan. I think ito pong project na ito uh, more than what we have anticipated um, 
napaka-timely niya para sa panahong ito. Not just because that we have a lot of people who are um, coming or those who are from Manila right now going home because they have been displaced by yung unemployment, their job opportunities in Metro Manila, so nandito na rin po sila ngayon. Other than, of course, the informal sectors that we have here. In the beginning, it was like a very, very uh, big project for all of us here in the municipality because we have not known yet the actual number ng atin pong mga constituents in the, in the municipality na napakarami po pala talagang nangangailangan ng bahay. Um, as of the 2017 po na datos ng aming pong bayan ng Rojas, eh, meron po pala kaming mga 7,000 na mga informal settlers or wala talagang maayos na tirahan. So bukod po dyan, syempre, andyan po yung mga problema natin dito sa binabahang area, yung madidisplaced from the road widenings and mga other infra project of the national government and the local governments as well. Kaya po napakalaki po pala ng pangangailangan natin ngayon sa tungkol sa pabahay. Dito po sa housing project na ito, I would consider that this will be a privilege and of course an opportunity for us to be able to identify who are those highly qualified with this initial project that we have right now. Uh, um, dahil akala natin na napakarami ng kung tutuusin mong mga asal meron pa po tayo ang makikita niyo po dito I would say and I have said this naman ng American uh, class po sa bawat individual yung dip sa kanilang monthly mortgage. So, the lesser yung kanila pong um, monthly na mortgage dito para dito po sa ating housing project na ito, I think that would be better for them na mas maipaayos ang kanila pong mga pamumuhay. Ito po ang pabahay na project na ito, kung makikita natin ay sinasabi kong napakalaki and it will make a difference. Sabi ko, let this be uh, parang a cycle of hope na tatawagin ko na siguro dito na pasimula ito na hindi lang tayo nag-provide ng shelter para po dun sa ating mga kababayan na na nahihirapan na makapagparoon ng kanilang mga sariling pamamahay pagkos ito po ay pasimula na ng realization o ng kanilang mga pangarap dahil pwede na silang mangarap dito na makapag-provide of course nang hindi lang doon sa bahay dito ng kanilang edukasyon para sa kanilang mga anak and ako, of course yung opportunity pa dito lalo na na magkaroon sila ng sense of entitlement na tawagin natin na gaya po ng presentation na dito kanina yung there was a, a child na umuwi dito umiiyak ka dahil sinasabi that they were like living in a squatters area so napakahirap po kasi na mawala sa atin yung tinatawag na mabawasan or mag, wala tayong tinatawag na high morale natin dito. This will a good start to have that high morale in us na para ma-boost ma at magkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na ipakita rin sa atin dito na walang imposible kung tayo po ay magtutulong-tulong dahil itong klase ng proyektong ito ay kailangan nating pagbutihin para naman mabigyan ng mas maayos na kinabukasan po ang ating mga kababayan. Um, siguro po uh, kunin na rin dito yung oportunidad na maaring itong proyektong ito na sinasabi natin na itong ngayon ay uh, given yung chance po ngayon dito sa amin with the number of beneficiaries right now na interesado uh, after presenting to them kasi po ang munisipyo na mismo ang directly involved even 
yung ating pong design and plans ng ating community. So we may, we have to make sure kaliman na magkaroon pa ng mas maraming pangailangan ang atin pong bayan ng Rojas. Ano na po, hindi po ito yung una at huling proyekto na atin pong maibibigay dahil ang sabi po namin dito sa bayan ng Rojas in as much as there, but a place that they can call home. So muli po, mula po sa bayan ng Rojas, ito pong pagkakataon na ito, napakalaking tulong para mabigyan ng pagchansa and of course ng uh, kag, uh, realization of the dreams ng ating pong mga kababayan na para sa kanila napaka-imposible na magkaroon ng sariling mga tahanan. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you very much, Mayor Calderon. Kami po sa Shafsi ay magiging kaagapay ninyo sa pagbibigay ng pabay sa inyong sinasakupan. Your speech encourages us to do more and to serve more because of the support we get from the local chief executives like you. At ito na po ang pinakahihintay nating parte ng araw na ito, the much-awaited signing ceremony. Habang ang ating Senior Vice President Attorney Deo Campo at Honorable Mayor Calderon, kasama ang kanilang mga witnesses, ay pinitirmahan ang Memorandum of Understanding between SHFC and the Municipal Government of Rojas, Mr. Andres Vicente at Ms. Maki Velasco ay babasahin ang ilan sa mga pinakamahalagang parte ng ating MOU. In part, through this Memorandum of Understanding, the Municipal Government of Rojas commits to, number one, act as CMP partner of Chapsi and implement the latter social housing programs in the Municipal Government of Rojas, such as but not limited to CMP and its modalities, including LGU-initiated vertical housing, turnkey, industrial workers, mixed use, sectoral, farm lot, and culturally sensitive CMPs, whichever is applicable for the project. Number two, identify a pilot project for socialized housing to be financed by Shafsi within 12 months from the signing of this MOU, either through land refinancing, LGU-initiated vertical housing, farm lot, and sectoral housing. Number three, provide technical assistance to community association in the subdivision of the property, including the conduct of reblocking and implementation of the subdivision plan or, or provide protection measures to benefit communities living along critical areas if necessary. And last, support the community associations in the upgrading of their communities, including providing access to livelihood and basic services and facility. Thank you. As for Shopsi, we are committed to assist the LGU and their constituents by financing LG Rojas Socialized Housing Project Initiatives, LAT Acquisition, Site Development, and House Construction Loan subject to Shavsi applicable guidelines, rules, and regulation, and budgetary capacity. Make available Shavsi personnel to assist project development of housing programs in the municipal government of Rojas, Isabela. Liaise with other government agency to expedite documentation, processing, and requirements during the implementation period. Conduct briefing and orientation in the municipality of Rojas regarding housing programs of Shavsi and citywide community upgrading strategy. Thank you. The MOU between Shavsi and LG Ross Isabella has finally been inked. Congratulations Shavsi and LG Ross. We are very much excited and so looking forward to what it will bring to our home partners.
May we now request our principals and witnesses to display to your screen the copy of the signed memorandum of understanding for a quick photo opportunity. Ayan. <laughs> Everyone, kahit po naka, naka face mask tayo, nakikita sa inyong mga mata ang, ang ngiti. Dahil po naapirmahan na nga po ang Memorandum of Understanding between Social Housing Finance Corporation and the LG Rojas Isabela. Congratulations LG Rojas and Shafsim. Sigurado po ako na maraming, maraming mga komunidad sa LGU ang matutulungan ng Memorandum of Understanding na to. Okay, maraming salamat po. At hindi po matatapos ang araw na ito nang hindi natin naririnig ang mensahe ng isa sa mga nagbibigay ng pinakamatitibay na suporta sa mga mitiin ng LGU. Upang ipakilala ang susunod nating tagapagsalita, tinatawagan ko muli si Mr. Andres Vicente. Once again, thank you for the privilege. The Honorable Vice Mayor is a tested leader of this town. His track record in the field of legislative works as Vice Mayor and Presiding Officer of the Municipal Council of Ross Isabella is highly remarkable and worthy of emulation. Such achievement is evidenced by the numerous quality, timely and relevant legislative measures passed and approved by the Sangguniambayan especially those pertaining to socialized housing for displaced families, for those threatened with eviction, and for those living in danger zones. He continues to steer the Sangguniang Bayan to strongly support the executive agenda of the Honorable Mayor in various sectors of development, including the control of COVID-19 and the will of the people to move away quickly from the adverse effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Again, with honor and pride, please make way for the Honorable Vice Mayor, Nick M. Sebastian, to deliver his closing remarks in this historic occasion. The Municipal Administrator. And... Uh, the ever supportive uh, members of the Sangguniang Bayan, SB Peter Soriano, SB Winnie Domingo, SB Boyet uh, Castillo, SB Jong Nabalta, SB um, Bong Deray, SB Cesar Puganan, SB Malu Salinda, SB Tony Hui, of course, our uh, Dearly beloved Pastor Dungo and very energetic uh, municipal administrator, Sir Andy Vicente, to Attorney Leo De Ocampo and Ma'am Kimberly Velasco, a representative from the Va Green Valley Home Subdivision, to all our CHFC family. A pleasant morning to everyone. It has long been the policy of this L. We are grateful that in pursuing this goal, we are now in partnership with the lead government agency, the Social Housing Finance Corporation in undertaking social housing programs for the people. Together, we will be providing the formal and informal sectors in the low income bracket. Quality with flexible, affordable, innovative. This partnership around the understanding that we just had today will empower their communities by building livable, affordable, 
and inclusive are than Balay communities. On behalf of the municipality Prohas, headed by Mayor Totep, the Sangon and Bayan members, and all the LG family, we thank the HFC for this opportunity. Stay safe and stay healthy. God bless. Thank, thank you very much, Vice Mayor Sebastian. Your speech is such an inspiration to us to, go, to do good and to do more. So we have come to the end of our MOE signing ceremony. Again, thank you very much, everybody, especially Attorney Dio Campo and Mayor Calderon, and of course, our home partners. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po sa muling pakikiisa sa amin, mga kashafsi. Again, I am Renilin Paglinawan of the Partner Relations Division na hindi, nagpa, na hindi nagsasawa na magpaalala sa lahat na ang Shafsi po ay mananatili po ninyong kaagapay sa panahon ng COVID-19. Again, congratulations po LG Rojas and Shafsi. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you po. Maraming salamat LGU. Thank you po, Attorney. Thank you to everyone. Salamat, Mayor. Thank you, Paul.